People in the Mount Zion area of Lebanon County are abuzz with reports of a wayward wallaby. The unexpected visitor has been spotted several times this week, and people have been posting pictures and videos on social media. Fox 43 photojournalist Ryan Rimby spoke to some neighbors who witnessed the hopping marsupial. Oh my God, there it is! So while I was driving, and I've kind of seen them off to my, the side of my eye, so I hit the brakes, put it in reverse, backed up, you know, veered in towards him. Here, fella. The lights on him, and he just stood there looking at me like a deer in the headlights. We didn't know what to think at first. I was not even 20 yards. He stood there for a few minutes and hopped off. Reporting party called in last week, I believe it was Tuesday, that there was a sighting of a, of a kangaroo. Well, it was pretty small, so kind of knew just from researching at that point because we don't deal with wallabies or kangaroos on a regular basis. We kind of determined it's most likely a wallaby. So our main purpose for being out here right now is to locate this wallaby. It's not native to Pennsylvania, so we want to, one, see where it came from, see who owned it, how it got here, things of that nature. If you go through the right channels, there is a way to legally possess a wallaby. Crops are up right now. We're at the end of the summer here. It's really hard to find. Just like seeing a deer out in the field, if it's in corn, you can't see it. It might be difficult to locate it. We took some measures. I brought some things with me today, such as some different size catch nets. I'm not sure how the wallaby is going to react to me. I don't know how tame it is. So we might have to adjust once we get eyes on it. And we want to try to get that wallaby to a facility where it can be well taken care of. It doesn't belong on our landscape and it's not nat native to Pennsylvania. So we just can't have it on the landscape here. Just come forward if it's yours and we'll deal with it. At this point, officials with the Game Commission say they're really not sure whether the marsupial was released by someone or if somehow it was able to escape on its own.